Hi, my name is Rose Castillo with Crafty Night Elves. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I want to show you this cute little popcorn box and how to make it. Now I'm pairing the Pop of Paradise stamp set which is super cute and super trendy with these flamingos and pineapples. They are so cute and then I'm using, I'm using this popcorn box thin lit and you will need to cut this out twice and it also comes with lots of accessories scallops and little pieces to make stripes and tags and uh, popcorn pieces but I'm just going to use the box and what you're going to do is you're going to get um, a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock and you're going to cut this out twice and what I did is I lined this up as edge right up with the edge of my paper and then I ran it through my Big Shop and I flipped it over and lined up the opposite edge here with my Big Shot and you will be able to get two um, pieces out of one half sheet of cardstock and you can see that here and that's just a paper saver and that means you can get two boxes out of one eight and a half by eleven now that's a good that's a good um, die cut because it helps you save paper and time um, trying to figure out ways to save paper and then here are the two images here that I cut out previously and there's not a lot of paper waste just um, you can see all right. Well, I pre-cut these just because I wanted to show you that two would fit on half of a sheet of cardstock. So to get started, move my stamp set out of the way. Oh, I also wanted to mention this was the first box I made, and I thought, oh, it needs a little bit more color besides the green, and so I remade it. And this time I stamped um, some pineapples on the background, and I also added some of this um, gold thread to add a little bit more character and that's a real popular thing to do is kind of jumble it and put it behind your images and then on the first box I used the scallop edge and I was a little hesitant at first because I thought oh it's gonna be so hard because I had such a hard time with the cake box in the scallop edge I thought oh, I don't know if I want to do it but I thought I'd give it a try and it was so easy and so I'm thankful for that but the second box I decided to leave it, um, you know, with a straight edge here and just see which one I liked better. And I don't know for sure, but they're both cute. But I do like that the yellow in the background. I do like that better. Okay, so let's get started with our project. And the first thing I would do is fold on the score line that's got this little tab here for you to attach your box. Now, I'm going to um, use some mono adhesive today for that. And I did use some tear tape on my last box, and that worked really well also. So, you're just going to line up the top edge right there along the score line and push down. But either glue works perfect for this box. I've used both and it there was no problems the next thing I would do is fold on this next score line and we're not going to attach it just yet and close up the box because I want to stamp first so I am going to take my emerald envy and I'm going to stamp the got to get some stuff out of my way the leaf image and I took the smaller leaf not the long one and you can just stamp some random leaves on your image I mean on your box and this just adds a little bit um, to your box and then I took the pineapple stamp and I used my markers first to color on there and then I realized that my Daffodil Delight marker really I need to replace it and so it wasn't coming out very bright 
and so I decided to use my ink pad and I can kind of I don't mean to take that out of frame use the edge of my ink pad and ink up just the bottom part of the pineapple and then I stamped or not stamped I colored with my marker with the brush tip the top part breathe on it um, and then I just randomly stamped this onto my box and trying to be careful not to get too much green on my ink pad from the leftover stamp image <clears throat> and I'm just kind of going through and choosing a, just a few different spots I did even at one point I just stamped half of that and like stamped it off a little bit off the box and that was easy okay just a couple more and got a little bit of yellow up on the top where the I don't know I guess leaves is that leaves hmm I don't know what it's called the top of the pineapple and do another one over here all right and if I had a good marker this wouldn't be so tedious with that ink pad but oh well maybe one more right there okay and then I can assemble my box which the assembly of this box is actually rather really simple and doesn't take long at all and would make cute party favors okay so let's see let's go ahead and fold on all the other score lines oops I'll do that you know what? My bone folder. There. I guess I should have been using this from the beginning, and that would help me with my scoring. Making crisp lines. And hopefully, you can't hear my kids being crazy in the background. And my dog barking. I tried recording this last night and right in the middle of recording my youngest kid said mom and so I was like oh forget it and I went to go see what was wrong and he wanted me to lay down with him and then that was the end of my night. So that is real simple. Now this box is intended for these two flaps to go down and then these two to interlock with each other like that. Now I feel like it needs a little bit of security so I would add a little bit of glue onto these. Not a lot, just enough to give it some extra security. And then close it down. And then use your bone folder and kind of push down. Alright, there's my box. And I think I might use... I'll use this one. This side. <laughs> okay, I'm taking my Emerald Envy ink pad and I am going to ink up the one image of this small leaf stamp that down and that's it for that one then I'm taking cucumber crush and I am inking up oops my long leaf 
and I am also going to take my flirty flamingo and I'm going to ink up my flamingo image and then I am going to take my basic black in archival ink and I am going to ink up the little banner piece and I do have to do a lot of fussy cutting for this one so I will speed up this process by showing you that I've already done these things ahead of time and this will just help me assemble quicker okay since I pre-cut these um, pieces my assembly of my box will not take me long at all and I just took some of this gold thread and I wrapped it around my fingers and cut it off and then I and I should have done this when the box was flat but ah, that was easy okay and I just stuck it oops stuck it on my box and any loose pieces I just made sure got stuck right where my snail was and I'll cut off these little frayed tail pieces there not frayed but just loose so that they're not sticking out and then I thought okay let's put oops grab that my leaf images down and I'm going to use some dimensionals for this and I kind of just randomly placed these a little bit I put this one like leaning off the box a little bit and this one right up here and that covers my little glue mess from where I put my thread on and then I thought okay let's see where should I put my flamingo and I think I'll put him right about there him her I don't know to me it's a him a pink flamingo can be a him right and I popped that up and for the banner piece I ended up cutting off a couple of these edge pieces that are perfect for thin thinner um, pieces that need to be popped up and I put that on there and I just kind of tuck this right over the leg area and ta-da it's all finished now don't shy away from fussy cutting when you see a cute project. Take a chance and do it because you just never know. It's worth the extra effort sometimes and you end up with a cute project. I wish there was framelits for this, but there isn't. Boo-hoo. But you know what? Sometimes it's good just to get out your paper snips and cut out these images and it really doesn't take that long. I hope you like this project today. You can buy everything that I used today on this project on my online store at www.rosecastillo.stumpinup.net. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll be happy to answer anything. All right, you have a good day. Bye-bye.